that this is about how to do a item pickup. So I have a hand here with mouse cursor and I'm going to pick up the ball object and I'm going to place it there. Move it here and place it there. So yeah, you're basically picking up the item and moving it somewhere else. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. This is going to be part one of part two video. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, so. Talk about the hand first. So the hand has X and Y. Is it 25, 25? There is two images, image 0 and image 1. See that it's animating really quick. So, modify the mass to a ellipse. In the create event, coded sheet, going to have image index 0, image speed 0. So that way it doesn't animate at all. It stays fixated on the first image, which was this hand open, then when I click on the, the mouse button, it will close, jump to the second image. So I'll talk about that in a minute. So in the step event, you have a jump position. So mouse underscore X, mouse underscore Y, do not set relative, do not check that. So this is basically turning your mouse cursor into the hand. This is what this, this, um, jump to positions doing which is in the um, move tab here and it's also in the crate I've got to have it in the crate as well so it's the same information mouse underscore x mouse underscore y so you have to have that jump position in the crate and the step event so I guess the step event if you're moving your mouse the step event is moving your mouse. That's why you have to have that jump in there so it keeps the image the same. It doesn't have a mouse pointer, it has the, the actual hand and the create event when you first start the game it changes to that hand, the mouse cursor. Okay so in the left press event you don't want to have this, you do not want to have your, um, you don't want to, you don't, you don't, sorry, you don't want to have this uh, set to global left and left press and left release. You want to make sure it's set to left pressed and left release because if you have it set to global mouse then anywhere you click on the screen he's gonna pick up the he's gonna pick up the um, ball so you don't want you don't want that. You want to make sure that it's set to left press and left release that way when you go over the ball you pick it up right in that location. So if you have a set of global, you can click it anywhere on the screen and you pick up the ball, which is not what you want. You want to be right at the ball and pick it up. So make sure it's set to left press and left release. So left pressed, you're going to set your image index equal to 1, image speed to 0. So it's going to jump from open hand to closed hand, because that's what image 1 is. It's closed hand. And the speed, you want to have it at 0, that way it doesn't animate. So it's going to jump from open hand to closed hand. Then when you release, it's going to go to closed hand, or open hand, I'm sorry, open hand. So it's going back to image zero, speed zero. So it's not going to animate, and it's going to jump back to the open hand, which is image zero. And like I said, the image index one is the closed hand. Depth minus 50. Now for the ball. Ball set to solid. Depth zero. Do a create. Coded sheet. The ball is going to be image index zero. Image speeds equal zero. Because it does animate. And I will talk about the animation later on in the part two video. For right now it's going to stay at image zero. Because I don't want it to animate because it's going to be just sitting there on the on the table pretty much. X and Y 
Origins 25. It's precise. So that's the first step. Image index zero, image speed zero. Now I could I could take this out um, and just go into take image one, two, and three out and just leave it at this first zero image. And I wouldn't I wouldn't need this code right here, but I'll just leave it in there and leave it in there for right now. Uh, the var is under the control tab. I want to make sure the variable is set to hold. Value is at zero. I'm not really sure what hold means. I try to find it on YouTube, but I believe the hold represents because uh, I watched the video and the guy didn't really explain hold. But I think what it represents is that it contains your ball. You're, you're holding the ball pretty much. It's not going to move. Hold represents you're picking up the ball and it's in your hand and it's not going to be moving. So I think that's what hold represents. It's keeping it stable. It's telling, it's telling Game Maker that you have something in your hand or something. So it's going to hold it and keep it there. Do an end step. Then you're going to do a, a variable, a test variable for hold. Set the value to 1 and it's equal to 2. Equal to. Um, value 1, I believe, is picking up the ball, I believe. I'm not really too sure about that. Then you have jumped position. So... You want to have the mouse index, mouse underscore X, mouse underscore Y. So this is, you want to have this in here because when you pick up the ball and then you release the ball, you want the ball to be in the location where you release the ball. So if you don't have the jump position in here, then when you pick up the, the ball and then release it somewhere else, it's going to pretty much put it somewhere else in the, in the room. It's not going to put it in the location you just dropped it with your mouse. So let me just demonstrate here. I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to pick it up and see now it's not there anymore. It's gone. So that you want to have that jumped position. You want that jump to position in there for the ball, for end step. That way, you pick up the ball, and you let go, and it's right there. If you don't have that jump to position, then it gets it gets rid of the ball for some reason. It disappears. So this this pretty much contains the ball in your hand, and then you let go in that location, and it shows the ball. Left pressed, it's going to do, you want to hide the ball. So, this what this is doing, I've already talked about this in my previous videos, um, but it's hiding the ball. When you pick up the ball in your hand, it's going to hide the ball in the hand while you're dragging it. Now, it's still on the screen, but it's going to be hidden. So, if I, if I uh, just grade this out, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pick it up. See, you can see the ball right below my hand, and I, I don't like that. You don't want to do. You don't want to have. You don't. Wanna, you don't want to see the ball because you already picked it up in your hand. It's not going to be visible. So you want to make sure that it's not visible when you pick it up. You're concealing it with the hand. So make sure that this is active. The code. So it's going to hide the ball. That's what it's stating here. You say it's true, then it's not going to hide the ball. So make sure it's false, because you don't want you don't want to have it visible. Then image index is equal to zero. Image speed is equal to zero. So you don't want the ball to animate, and you want the speed to be zero. Then you want to have the, the variable in here. Set variable to object purple ball, and you want to hold it. Set the value to one. So this is pretty much containing the ball in your hand. 
and it's not going to leave unless you let go of the mouse. And I believe this value is set to zero because at this point you don't have you you haven't picked up the ball yet, so you want to make sure the value is a zero. When you pick up the ball, the value turns to one in the step event and in the pressed event. You're going to test it, and you're going to make it make it active in the left press event. In the release, you want to make sure that the ball is visible, so you want to say true. Then you want to have image index zero, speed zero. When you drop the ball, you don't want the ball to animate. Like I said, this information is not not needed if you just go into the if you just use image zero and take out all these other animations, you won't need that image index zero, image speed zero. You won't need that, but I just left it in there for right now because we'll talk about that in my next video. So I, I talk took I talked about that part. Now the variable, yeah, you set it to hold and value zero. It goes back to zero when you release the ball. And that's pretty much it. Make sure it's solid. So this is how you pick up a ball and drop it in a different location. My next video for this one will be talking about how to pick up the ball and throw in it. And then picking up another ball and throwing it and hitting another ball. So it's kind of like uh, playing pool or something. So I'll talk about that in my um, next video and how to bounce off walls, stuff like that. So thanks for watching.